Ladies and gentlemen, Linda Etter. Do you have a very devoted gay fan base? I know the answer to this, it's because we have good taste, but to what do you attribute that, or what do you think of that? Um, you know, I get asked that question so often, and I really struggle to try to, f to know the answer, to try to figure out a good answer. I think it has something to maybe to do with the drama of some of the songs that I sing. Um, it, there's a certain, I've heard this say, people say to me, there's a cry in your voice, which lends itself to those big ballads, you know, the big dramatic ballads. A lot of people have gone through a lot of struggles to be in a happy place in their life, you know, especially in, in the gay community, and I think maybe they relate to that, the struggle. looking forward to that live recording. What can you tell us about the album and, and that night, that experience? Oh, it was amazing. We did it at uh, uh, Arthur Zenkel Music Center at Skidmore College up in Saratoga Springs, and it's an amazing state-of-the-art recording facility, which is why I went there. Uh, and everything just sort of fell in place. It was like it was meant to be, but then of course to talk about getting nervous. I don't really get nervous too much anymore, but then that night I did get nervous because I thought, oh, this is now being recorded. So now there's this pressure. Now I have to try to be good. My voice has to be good. And that puts this added thing on you, but it really, it couldn't have gone better. So I'm really excited and we should have the CD out for sale, I'm hoping by the end of August. Who, do you, who are you a fan of these days, contemporarily speaking? Who do, you, who do you like? You know, I like so many different styles of music and so many different singers that... Uh, I like instrumental music, I like musicals, but it, people would be surprised maybe to know that if I could be reincarnated and come back again, mm -hmm. if I would like to come back at, with a voice um, of Pink. I love Pink. Really? Yes, I love Pink, but then I'm also a country girl, so I love... I love a lot of country artists. Okay. I love Lady Antebellum. I, I love Gavin DeGraw. I'm crazy about his oh, voice. We have the same, yeah, the same so music. it's. I heard you. I heard you like Sarah Bareilles. As I well, love which, Sarah Bareilles. I think she's an amazing. Not only does she have an amazingly beautiful and pure voice, she's also an incredible uh, musician. Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up when the clouds are
Is there any chance in hell we'll ever get you back on Broadway? Boy, you know, Broadway is just such a tough animal. Yeah. Those eight shows a week uh, just keep a lot of people away. It's really too much. Um, and it's hard. It's just really hard to, to want to put myself into that position only because it's hard on your voice. And, I, and because concerts has been my mainstay and having been on Broadway and knowing... I wanted to give 100% every night, and I'm a belter, I'm not a, a mixer, I don't, uh, I belt to my full range, and that's hard on your voice, so to do eight shows a week was a challenge for me, and um, I, I don't know that I'd want to do that, I might come back and do a featured role where I didn't have to sing so much each night, and actually what I'd really love to come back and do is a straight play. If happy.